This video is about locating roots by looking for a change of sign. So we've got a function here, f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 7. The roots are where the graph of y equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 cross the x-axis. So we've got a quadratic graph, so it looks something like this. And the roots are these points here. So where it crosses the x-axis. Another way of thinking about roots, they're the solution to the equation where f of x equals 0 or where y equals 0 because the graph crosses x when y equals 0. So that's a root and we can, we can find the solution by looking for a change of sign. So if a function is negative here, and positive here, it must have crossed through the x-axis as long as it's a continuous function. So we're going to put in two different inputs here, 1 and 2, and if there's a change of sign, then that means that we found a solution, we found the root. So if we substitute in 1 into the function and substitute 2 into the function, if we get a change of sign, we have located the root. So f of 1 is 2 times 1 squared plus 3 ones minus 7. And f of 2 will be 2 times 2 squared plus 3 twos minus 7. So here we've got minus 2, negative 2. And here we'll get a positive 7. So we have got a change of sign. Therefore, there's a solution between 1 and 2. So, change of sign. Therefore, there's a solution between 1 and 2. Okay, here we've got a different function. Show that f of x equals 0 has a solution between 1 and 2. So again, we're looking for a change of sign to show us that we've got a solution. So f of 1 is 1 to the power of 4 plus 3 ones minus 7 and f of 2, 2 to the power of 4 plus 3 twos minus 7. So we've got negative 3 and we've got 15 so again we've got a change of sign therefore we have located the root therefore root between 1 and 2 this one's a different type of question because we've got to show that the solution is 0 0.65 to two decimal places. So when we get a question like this, we need to look at the bounds. So we need the upper bound and the lower bound that the answer could be. So if it's two, sorry, if it's 0 0.65 to two decimal places, the one below the two decimal places is 0 0.64. The one above is 0 0.66. So the lower bound is halfway in between these two, 0 0.645, and the upper bound, 0 0.655. So we need to show that there's a change of sign between 0 0.645 and 0 0.655. If there's a change of sign in between those two, then the solution must be in between those two and therefore it's 0 0.65 to two decimal places. So we're going to do f of 0 0.645 and f of 0 0.655. So we've got two 0 0.645s cubed plus five 0 0.645 squared minus 0 0.645 minus 2. 
and also two 0 0.6 fire fives cubes plus five 0 0.6 fire fives squared minus 0 0.6 fire five minus two. So we just type those two into the calculator. So for the first one, we get negative 0 0.03 to two decimal places. And for the second one, we get a positive 0 0.05 to two decimal places. So again, we've got a change of sign. Therefore, we have a solution. So change of sign. Therefore, solution is 0 0.65 to two decimal places. Okay, here's another one of those questions. If you want to pause the video, give that one a go, and then I'll go through the answer. Okay, so we should have a lower bound of 1.205 and an upper bound of 1.215 so that means we're looking for a change of sign in between these two so we're going to substitute 1.205 and 1.215 into our function and if we get a change of sign in between them then we know that there is a solution at 1.21 so let's substitute those in 1.205 cubed plus 4 1.205s squared minus 3 1.205s minus 4 and 1.215 cubed plus 4 1.215s squared minus 3 1.215s minus 4. So type them into the calculator. And for 1.205, I've got negative 0 0.06 to two decimal places. And for 1.215, I've got positive 0 0.05 to two decimal places. So we've got a change of sign. Therefore, it must have crossed through the x-axis. Therefore, we found a solution. So. change of sign therefore solution at 1.21 to three significant figures